Hi. Um, okay, so um, I thought I'd share another little video with you today. Um, obviously, we're getting close to the exam, so it makes sense to. Um, what we've got here is a foundation question. Both of the videos we've done so far have been higher questions. So I thought a bit of a foundation question would be a, a, an alternative for you, okay? So um, without any further ado, here's the question. So it says, in a box, there are three types of chocolates. There are six plain, there are eight milk, and there are 10 white chocolates, okay? Ben takes at random a chocolate from the box. Part A, write down the probability that Ben takes a plain chocolate. Now the first thing that I need to do is I need to work out how many chocolates there are all together. So 10 add 8 add 6, 10 add 8 is 18, 18 add 6 is 24. So in total, there are 24 chocolates, okay? So write down the probability that Ben takes a plain chocolate. Well, it's out of 24, so it's going to be a fraction, and it's going to be 24. And you can see here that there are six plain chocolates, okay? So the probability is six out of 24. Now, if you look over here, you'll see this question's worth two marks. So what it wants us to do is to simplify it. With any simplifying, um, what you're doing is you're finding the highest common factor of these two numbers, so in this case, 6 and 24. Um, you're basically looking for the biggest number that you can divide 6 by and you can divide 24 by. So in this case, it's 6. Um, how many 6s are there in 6? There's 1. And how many 6s are there in 24? There are four. So for two marks, my answer is one quarter. Okay, so a quarter of those chocolates are going to be plain. Poppy says that Dion takes two chocolates from the box. Write down all the com possible combinations of chocolates that Dion can take. So we need to do this in a, in a structured and an ordered fashion, okay? So it says that he could take, we know that he could take a plain and a plain. He could take a plain and a milk. He could take a plain and a white. He could also take a milk and a milk or a milk and a white. We don't need to write milk and plain because we've already got it here. He could also take a white and a white. We don't need to write white and milk because it's there. And we don't need to write plain and milk because it's there. So in total, he can take six possible combinations. Okay? So six possible combinations um, gives us the number of ways that he could take two chocolates out. Okay? So there's four marks. Four nice and easy marks straight away. Um, so nice little foundation question just to help and get you thinking. You'll notice that I did that in a really structured and an ordered manner. Okay? I went straight for all the possible ways of doing plain chocolate. So plain plain, plain milk, plain white. Then I looked at what was left. Milk milk, milk white. Then I looked at what was left, white white. Okay? Do it in a structured way. Do it in an ordered way. If you do it in an ordered way, then you can be confident that you've got all the options that you need, all the possible ways that you could succeed with this. Okay? So there's four marks. Four nice marks, actually. Four marks that it's good to be able to get. Okay? So... That's our little question for today. Um, any requests, as always, let me know. And I will see you, see you soon.